I discovered how to get good at math so easily it feels like cheating. You know that pathetic moment when you stare at a math problem for 20 minutes straight while some Asian kid has already finished half the test. Oh yeah, makes you feel like an idiot. But the problem isn't that you just suck at math. It's because you've been learning it the slow, brain-dead way they force feed you in school. And that changes today, because I'm gonna show you seven dead simple things you need to do to finally stop sucking at math. So let's get started. Seven, be obsessed with fundamentals. Don't look at you waltzing into calculus like some math Disney princess thinking you're special just because you watched one YouTube video on integrals. Sit your delusional royal ass down. You can't even do long division without using your fingers, but you're out here acting like you're ready to solve quantum physics. But that's not ambition, that's stupidity in a prom dress. Asian students don't waste time pretending they drill over and over because they get it. Math is like building a skyscraper. You don't start with the rooftop pool and penthouse jacuzzi. You start by digging a fat, ugly hole in the ground and pouring a shit ton of concrete. That's your fractions, your multiplication tables, your long division. If your foundation's trash, everything else is too. So you need to be obsessed with the fundamentals, idiot. But most of you clowns wanna skip straight to the top floor and start popping champagne with your imaginary math skills. Just try actually learning the damn basics first. Six, break the problem into parts. Oh no, you're stuck again. Shocking. Bet you looked at the problem for 17 seconds and said, math's just not my thing. Shut up, you idiot. Math isn't a personality trait, it's a skill. And guess what? Skills are built, not inherited. Take that big scary problem and chop it into smaller chunks like you're Gordon Ramsay filleting a confused fish. If it's geometry with a unit circle, break it into, what the hell is the unit circle? What the hell are radians? And why is this even on my test? You're not solving a mystery, you're following a recipe. Break it down step by step. Now look, I'm not saying you can't check the answer. Of course you can, princess. But try at least something before giving up like your brain's made of marshmallows. Write down what you know, ask ChatGPT to point out what you should know, and use this prompt I wrote for you. It'll guide you without spoiling the whole thing. Oh, to see the full prompt, follow me on Instagram and DM me prompt. I'll send it for free because I'm pretending to be nice. You'll thank me later. Five, give up early. Look, dumbass, nobody's handing out medals for sitting there staring at a math problem like a frozen chicken nugget. You're not grinding, you're just wasting time. Asian students don't do that crap. They know when to give up early and move smart. Yeah, I said it. Use ChatGPT's hints. Do your best and then compare your pathetic attempt with the real solution. That moment when you realize how far off you were, that's where the actual learning begins. Now, if your brain still can't unfuck the problem, stop suffering and look at the answer. Ask ChatGPT to spoon feed you the steps like the clueless math baby you are. Study that breakdown like your GPA depends on it because guess what? It does. Then shut the answer down, take a deep breath, Try again from scratch. No peeking. Repeat that cycle until your dumbass can do it alone. Use your time smartly to understand the damn solution and move on to practicing more questions instead of crying over one like an idiot. But if you're sitting there thinking, okay, but I still don't know how to study, how long, how to build a routine, calm your confused little brain because I already solved that for you. I built a system that's helping students around the world study 80% less and still get top grade. It's the same system I used to get into the number one university in Latin America, competing for one of just 12 spots out of thousands with zero prep course, zero private tutor, just this strategy. And the best part, it works even if you think you're a bad student or just not smart enough. So don't be an idiot, click the link in the description and watch my free masterclass where I break down the exact study system that can skyrocket your grades without sacrificing your free time like a fool. Four, practice in multiple ways. Oh wow, you solved one math problem and now you think you're Einstein. Sit down, idiot. 
Real students, like the Asian ones mopping the floor with your GPA, don't just solve a problem once and pat themselves on the back like they deserve a trophy. No. They solve the same damn problem three different ways. Why? Because they're not trying to just get the right answer. They're trying to make sure the concept is tattooed on their brain forever. Factoring, quadratic formula, completing the square, they do it all. Then they'll solve a system of equations using substitution, elimination, and matrices just for fun. They'll find the area of a triangle with the basic formula, then with trigonometry, and then Heron's formula just to flex. Meanwhile, you're over here crying because you had to flip the minus sign and your world fell apart. Three, keep an error notebook. Oh no, you made a mistake. Poor baby. Did it hurt your fragile little ego? <laughs> Meanwhile, Asian students are over here cataloging their screw-ups like Pokemon cards. Yeah, they've got a whole damn notebook with one side for solving and the other for documenting every dumbass move they made. Why? Because they actually want to learn from their failures instead of crying. Every time they mess up, they go full Sherlock Holmes on that shit. Was this a careless mistake? Did I forget a negative sign again, you stupid donkey? They don't hide their errors under the rug like you, princess. They shine a flashlight on them and go, hey, look at this mess. Let's never do that again. Mistakes aren't embarrassing. They're free lessons, idiot. Two, repeat with intention and practice under pressure. Asian students understand where that formula came from, why it works, and how to weaponize it like a sniper rifle. And then they drill it so many times they could write it backwards in their sleep while juggling flaming calculators. You're out here barely remembering the quadratic formula, and they've already married it, had three kids, and sent it to college. But it doesn't stop there, oh no. While you're solving one problem every 30 minutes with lo-fi beats and snacks, they're cranking through 10 problems in 20 minutes, stopwatch ticking, palms sweaty like it's the damn Olympics. Why? Because they simulate the pressure. That's why they finish tests with time to spare and you're still stuck on question four, chewing your pencil like an idiot. One, teach out loud. Oh, you think you understand math just because you watched a video and didn't fall asleep? Sit down, idiot. You can't explain it out loud without sounding like a confused potato. You don't know shit. That's why Asian students crush it. They teach what they learn out loud to their siblings, their friends, their dog. A damn pillow doesn't matter. So open your damn mouth. If you can teach it, you own it. And if you want to learn how to actually study before it's too late, don't forget to click the link in the description or comments to get into my free masterclass where I break down the exact study system that can skyrocket your grades without throwing your free time in the trash like a total idiot. Use that to your advantage, genius. Oh, and send this to that one friend who keeps saying the easy suck at math. You know exactly who I'm talking about, and I hope to see you in the next video. If you don't show up, well, you're even dumber than I thought.